This month, Lambda Generation is sponsored by Military Conflict Vietnam. More on that later in the video. Now, tell me. How much would you like to die? I mean, in a video game, of course. If dying in video games is on the agenda, then I have the Half-Life mod for you. It's called Half-Quake, and it's somewhat of a classic. In Half-Quake, you basically have to die in the most ridiculous ways possible to please the sadists that are watching you. So, yeah, not a game about winning, but a game about dying. If you're interested in that, then check out the Half-Quake trilogy on Steam. It includes all three games in one neat little package, and it's free. Oh, but it's on the Gold Source engine, and I can't play anything with old graphics like that! Okay, fair enough, I guess. Hmm, let me see if there's a solution for you here. Hmm... Oh, yeah, here it is. How about a reimagined Halfquake, but on the Source engine? Sounds better, right? Well, that's what's being made right now, so let's get into it. Lambda Generation. All right, real quick before the video starts, we just launched an all-new Lambda Builds mapping competition. It's called Toondra, and it's all about making the coldest, chilliest maps you can make in the Source engine. And Brad Man from Entropy Zero will be a guest judge on this one, so that's pretty cool. You can participate from now until February 21st. More details like prizes and stuff like that can be found in the description below, and please do read the rules as closely as you can. They're important. Halfquake Rebirth is a mod for the Source engine created by Yansios, and its development was announced in early 2019. Its aim is to reimagine the classic Halfquake from 2001 for a modern audience with the more modern conveniences that the Source engine brings with it. The mod is unofficial though, and the original author, Philip Lemer, aka Muda Sheep, has nothing to do with this. The mod has been receiving updates over on ModDB since 2019, with a development reboot happening in early 2020 due to an unfortunate hard drive failure. Please back up your files, people. Ever since then, the mod has gotten a few more updates on its development until it started to slow down at the end of 2021, with 2022 seeing no update articles about the mod at all. Although the mod may have received some minor updates over on its official Discord server or other social channels, it seemed almost dead on ModDB. That was until very recently, because on January 12, 2023, Yansias posted a new media update on the Halfquake Rebirth page, talking about how far along the remake is now, and why it was gone for so long without giving any substantial updates. So why don't we dive straight into it? But first, a message from our sponsor. Military Conflict Vietnam, a source-based game that brings an intense and fast-paced first-person shooter set in the middle of the Vietnam War. We have been sponsored by them for the month of January. You can either join the Vietnamese soldiers or US Army soldiers in close quarters combat with fluid and modern controls. Featuring six classes with over 100 weapons to choose from, historically accurate skins and cosmetics, and promotions to earn. The game also gets updated weekly with new free content, and there's even Steam Workshop support and a classic server browser. The game actually got updated very recently and they fixed a whole lot of bugs, but that's not all. They also added a whole new game mode to the game called Demolition. In this new game mode, you have to either plant bombs in certain areas or defend those same areas depending on what team you're on. Pretty exciting stuff. Many thanks to Military Conflict Vietnam and developers Dust Fade for sponsoring us. There is a link to obtain the game in the description below. In the media update called the January 2023 media update, Yansiat immediately goes into why the mod was seemingly in hiatus mode for the past year or so. This had to do with other obligations in his life, like school. He also states here that he has ADHD, which could interfere with being able to give his full attention to this mod. But probably the biggest reason was that the project just didn't gain a lot of attention. So this kind of demotivated him to keep working on it. And I do get where he comes from. I've been doing YouTube for 12 years at this point, and my videos haven't really gotten off the ground much either. And that's YouTube for ya, and it can definitely be demotivating sometimes. Him not being super motivated doesn't mean that work on the project didn't get done though. According to the media update, the intro map is entirely done now, although the intro map may be a little different from what you're used to in the original Halfquake. 
Some traps had to be taken out as they didn't work in the Source engine, and because of that, Yuncias decided to completely overhaul the layout of the intro map to fit these new limitations and to also fit a style system he calls Institute Levels. This style system revolves around three sections. The underground, old sunrise-ish style architecture with stone bricks, dirt, and abstract architecture. The new institute with a bluish tone to the walls as it's seemingly taken the shape of a reused bunker. And lastly, the surface, which will be styled like offices, storage closets, and stuff like that. You know, kind of a behind-the-scenes kind of scenario. Sounds neat, and like this could be a very atmospheric mod. And we get to take a look at some of that atmosphere in the video that is up next, where we get to listen to some of the ambient sound of the mod and take up the general vibes that this mod will have. It definitely sounds like a sadist's dream. Part of that atmosphere are also the glow sticks that you'll find on the floor. They have a purpose other than just existing and looking kinda neat though. They're meant to guide the player. But can these glow sticks really be relied on? Well, the update article tells you that it would be a shame if they were used to misguide the player, so they must be reliable, because it would be a shame otherwise. Right? A bunch of new graffiti was also made for the mod to serve as easter eggs. The original mod also had art hidden from the player in various spots, and this remake is attempting to do a very similar thing. A new intro is also added to the mod where it's actually explained how the player got into the cell they begin in, and instead of teleportation being used to bring the player from level to level, elevators are going to be used. So yeah, this remake is trying to change some elements of the original as well. Last but not least, the Vortigons have been retextured as well, now having a bunch of blood on them. And as it appears, it's not its own blood. The headcrab also got the same blood treatment. Yeah, uh-uh, I definitely don't think that's just tomato juice. And that's kind of it for Havequake Rebirth for now. Development is trucking along, although not at a super high pace. Yonsias is pretty much the only developer working on this mod, so yeah, things just take a little longer when you work on something on your own. If you want to keep in touch with the development of Halfquake Rebirth though, make sure you follow the ModDB page and join the project's Discord server and follow it on Twitter. Oh, and Yancias also has a Patreon page in case you want to throw a little bit of Moolah's way. So what do you think of Halfquake Rebirth? Is it a Jolly Jason? Or is it a Please No Patrick? Let me know in the comments. I read them all, especially when I'm on the toilet. That's prime comments reading time. I wish Yancias the best of luck developing Halfquake Rebirth. Hopefully this video will bring some positive attention to your project.